Once you have a DS Core account, it's time to start connecting your devices. So we're talking about your PrimeScan, Omnicam, and your Cydexis database. So we're going to do the left drop down and go to Equipment. And in the upper right, we'll go to New Device. This shows all the different devices that we can connect here. Uh, in this case, we're going to do our scanners first. So we can either select Intraoral Scanner or the InLab CAD CAM Hybrid Workflow. They're both the same connector. We'll select View Guide and download the connector. Once that finishes, go ahead and open the file. It's going to automatically run the installation. And I'll show you how to log into that here in just a minute. Now we're going to go back and go to the Cydexis 4 connector. So now we're connect connecting the Cydexis database. This installation takes a second longer. You really only have to do this on one of the computers. I recommend doing it on the computer right there where you take comb beams and panos. Uh, the RCU computer is good. That's the computer that comes with our machines. Uh, but we do want to have it connected at all times. So we click finish all the way through. Now we need to enter in our uh, DS Core credentials. So go ahead and log in here. It's going to begin to connect to the database and start identifying where your server is. What we're looking for here is a green check mark. All right, so we got it. So we'll go ahead and configure the address and start our upload. That's going to bring all of our patients from the Cydexis database. It's going to bring their names into DS Core. It won't bring all their files, but it will bring the database. So down to the bottom right by the clock, I went to the arrow up and found the little magnifying glass with the Densply Serona logo. This brings us to a screen where we can enter in our credentials. This is going to connect our scanner. And you need to do this for every scanner in your office. So if you have two prime scans or a prime scan and an Omnicam, they both need a connection to the core. Once that's connected, it's going to send every scan from the model phase directly to DS Core. Now, if something doesn't show up for some reason within the software, you can also click DS Core Upload, and it will shoot that up there.